Hello once again programmers, it's me 19 Cups of Java bringing you another game tutorial video. Um first off, um I haven't been making videos for a long time just because my college has been pretty difficult more than I would like to admit. Um the first semester I finally finished and I'm going into the second semester and I'm doing decently well, so I had some time to make another video. Um, when we left off, um, all our bar did was it just you know moved. That that was it. So I w this tutorial video, I wanted to make it so the ball bounces off the bar like it's supposed to in the real game. So now what we need to do is, which actually I forgot to get rid of, is uh, this get bounds because we're going to make a rectangle for the power bar and we're going to make a pa um a rectangle for the ball class. So, what we're going to do is public because I did this tutorial already, but I forgot to erase everything, so I didn't have to Well, I guess it doesn't matter, so eh. um return new rectangle and there's two ways of doing this, but I found this way is a little bit easier. Just because if you had a field for rectangle, like up here, um, you would always have to update it, like in the move method down here. So you'd have to say, okay, move the rectangle to over here now, since it moved to the right. But this, as soon as you call it, it'll give you the right rectangle. So I found it a lot easier. So now we have those two methods. We're going to um, need another method in here called public void hit bar. And all this is going to do is the mechanic of it bouncing, which is y, yv times equals negative 1. So basi basically it's going to do a reflection to go the opposite way. And we'll call that in the power bar class, um, we're, so basically we're going to need a ball when we call this method because we need to test it. So we go back here, and I found out the last time I tried to do this, um, the ball is in here, right there. So what we need to do is create a new method, um, public void get ball. Whoops. And I put void. Whoops. Gotta put ball. And then return original ball. Alright. And um, I actually added this from the last time I tried to do this tutorial. Um, basically, for some reason, it comes up with an error, and I couldn't figure out why, so I just put a try and catch. So just add that. Um, And then, uh, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to put ball dot get ball. Because this isn't a ball, it's a tri-transparency tri ball, which we just need the regular ball. So, sounds confusing, but we're just dealing with one ball here, not the whole, you know, set that we have in it. So now, when we, we go back to our power bar class, and now we need to test if... Um, if the ball is hitting the power bar. So how we're going to do that is we're going to say get bounds, which gets the rectangle of our power bar. Then we're going to put dot intersects. And this is how we're going to test it. And we're going to say uh, b dot get bounds. And that's it. That's um, how you test for rectangles. But we're going to have to put another nested if in here because if we didn't, it would just, um, like, well, I wish I had a, okay, hold on. Basically, um, this rectangle, like, um, if it came in from the side, like, from this side going in, basically, it would kind of bounce in between the rectangle going across. So, basically, what we need to test for is how high the ball is compared to the bar. Um, so, if, um, 
b dot get y so get the y of the ball is less than r y then do this which is b dot hit ball hit bar I think we made that right yeah yeah okay and we're um we're manipulating the velocity not the the location because if we did the location let's say the ball's right here like where my cursor is it would flip all the way up here because it would be reflected to the top of the screen um okay i think that's it um let's but there is one problem with it right now, but we'll fix that next tutorial, is we don't have a, kinda like a rectangles for right here and to the left, and that's because I just wanted to show you how to make it bounce off the power bar, so we'll um, make that happen next tutorial, like if it hits from the right, boom, see, it bounced. Now, um, there's one more thing I wanted to fix, which is uh, when you start the game, it kind of appears up here. I kind of want to get both of them to appear kind of in the middle of the screen. So what, we, what we're going to do is go to here, type in menu screen dot set location relative to, and then all you put is null. And all this does is it um, puts it in the middle. Like if you put in any other J-frame or something in here, it would appear wherever that one was. So putting null puts it in the middle of the screen. Boom, middle. But now we still have this one appearing up here. And I got another error message. What? Wow. All right, well, it's, it's being tried and catch. It hasn't interfered with the game, so... Uh, all right. Now we got to go to the breakout screen, and when this is created, we need to do uh, game screen dot set location relative to null, and that's it. So. I just wanted to fix those two things. So boom, boom. All right. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video on getting the ball to bounce off the power bar. Um, we'll fix the other thing where like, if the ball comes in from the side, it'll keep bouncing in between. We'll fix that next tutorial. So um, thank you. Um, please like, subscribe, comment on my videos. I hope you liked this one. So, see you next time, programmers.